Rugby rugby player has swapped his boots for running shoes in an epic 1,000 kilometre challenge in the name of charity. The finishing line is now looming and Kenny Reader will do his last 10k tomorrow at Durham City Rugby Club and then sit with his feet up for about 17 months. Uh, He's urging us all to come down and cheer him on. It's that exhausting last leg that he needs encouragement for. Are his legs going to hold out? Uh, Let us speak to Kenny Reader. And I I saw somebody, Kenny, the other day, a picture of the legs of somebody who'd done the Tour de France. They weren't pretty. Uh, I don't think mine are as pretty as that either, to be honest with me. Oh, how have you been for today's run? Have you been for today's run already? No, today's run's going to be this afternoon uh, when I finish work. Okay. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work for my dad. uh, Run the, the dunes at South Shields. Okay. Um, and 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 are you are you relaxed? Are you are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to finishing. Um, it's been a long it's been a long 97 days so far. Uh, yeah. Sorry, 98 days so far. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been it's been good. I've been helped along the way by uh, over 100 different people uh, who've also ran a total of 4,000 kilometres on top of the 980 that I've ran. So. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good. It's, it's a nice feeling to get so much support. It must yeah. be a nice feeling knowing that you are really fit as well. <laughs> and, um, not as fit as I probably should be, really. Oh, yeah. shut up, man. <laughs> You've done 10K every day for 100 days. How can it not be fit? Uh, no, I've learned the art of talking and uh, running at the same time whilst other people are panting. I'm trying to talk at people now. <laughs> uh, have you ever felt just like giving them, uh, giving it a miss? I mean, 99 is still a good number, really. Yeah, it's, it's been tough. The, 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 the main problem, I'd say, is probably lifestyle. I've still been going out on a Saturday night, and I'm, my, my dad was 50 uh, during the time, so we had a big 50th birthday party. So um, being a rugby player as well, you, you tend to get dragged along to rugby, rugby events and rugby functions when you can't really refuse a beer. So... Um, the hangover runs the next day have been slightly tough, but, you know, you've just got to do it, haven't you? You've got to get yourself around. That's what I mean, you see. You're fit. You've been raising money for the Alzheimer's Society. I- is it a charity close to your heart? Yeah, it is, yeah. Um, my granddad's brother, my uncle Sol, sadly passed away uh, three or four years ago. And um, he was a, he was a really nice fella. And um, it was, I, I always, I've done a little bit of charity work in the past. Um, you know, done the great throw and done tough mudder, that sort of thing. Uh, but I wanted to have something with a bit of, uh, bit of longevity for people to remember, for people to talk about, and I think I've, I think I've captured the imagination of everybody who's wrong with me or everybody who's followed me or sponsored me or whatever. So um, yeah, it's, it's so raising money for the Alzheimer's Society for my uncle Sol, um, and he, he he suffered the last couple of years of his life. So it's you know nice to give something back. I always think people like you are very inspiring. Um, Kenny Reid is a rugby player from Durham. He's raising money for the Alzheimer's Society by running 10k every day for 100 days. Uh, so yesterday was 99, today is uh, 100. Saturdays must have been tough. It was blooming hot. It's been hot the last couple of weeks. I've ditched, I've, I, I bought a couple of T-shirts at the start when, you know, put the charity on and everything like that. And uh, the T-shirts have been ditched for a football bib, which is nice and light and not, not too hot. So um, not, not the most attractive of top either, but, you know, it, it gets me it gets me through. You've run in some unusual places, I think. Yeah, I've been, I've been to London uh, a couple of times. My brother worked in London, so every time I've been to visit him, I've been around run there with him. Um, I've tried to keep it interesting, you know, like make sure I've got a decent backdrop. You know, I've been doing a number around Durham Cathedral, uh, Angel and North. Um, you know, not trying to do the same routes all the time to keep it interesting for myself as well. Um, I've dressed up in a tuxedo. I've wore a sumo suit. Um, I wore a ballerina's outfit. I had the misfortune of wearing a Sunderland shirt because I'm a massive Newcastle fan. Um, <laughs> All in the name of charity, I guess. So it's it's fair to say you've got a sense of humour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, maybe my friends are maybe my friends are because they choose the outfits normally. Ah, uh, okay. So, um, according to the NHS, there are currently, and I mean you're running for Alzheimer's, so yeah. there, there are currently six thousand seven hundred and ninety nine Durham residents who have dementia. Those statistics are set to rise to uh, eight thousand and forty three by twenty twenty, which is shocking. Yeah, I think the national figure is something way over half a million people are suffering with dementia, and it's, I think I think it's second to cancer. I think for um, uh, the number of deaths in the in the in the, in the UK, and it's just it's not a nice thing. People lose their personality, people lose the ability to remember and speak, and it's it's, it's a real it's a real shame, and it's, it's not a nice thing to see. And I witnessed it myself, and it's not a very nice thing to see. So that's why it was that's why I thought it'd be a nice idea to raise a, raise a few quid and give a bit back. So listen, legend, how much have you raised so far? 
so far I've raised £5,500. Um, I've just revised my target amount to £6,000 this morning. Brilliant. So listen, um, you want people to come and cheer you on. Uh, you're doing your 100th uh, 10k this afternoon. He's, he's been running... So it's, 90, it's 99 this afternoon, it's 100 tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Okay, fine. Um, so uh, where did you run yesterday? Yesterday I ran uh, from um, my nan's house at Pittington down into Durham. It's always a downhill on the Sunday. It's always a nice, nice downhill finishing with a, with a cheeky half a lager at the end. <laughs> did, and, 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 and did nan sort of have a gentle mint with you? <laughs> no, I've had, uh, I've had, I had my mum and my auntie along yesterday and a few of my friends there, so it's, it's been really well supported by our friends and family, so uh, I, had, I had 18 extra runners with me yesterday. Which what was a nice. nice boy you are. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 26. Good boy. Will you ever run again after this? I wouldn't. Uh, I've been talked into going to pre-season rugby training next week, but we'll see about that. You've been what? been talked into going to pre-season rugby training next week, but we'll, uh, we'll see about that, see how my legs are holding up. I, I think you deserve a break, man. I think I might have a couple of days off, I, say, I dare say. All right, so you're 99th today. Uh, where are you running the 100th? Uh, from Durham City Rugby Club, uh, which is Green Lane in Durham. Uh, I've, I'm hoping I'm hoping to get, well, I know I've got a lot of people running with me. Uh, if I can get anywhere near 100 people tomorrow, that would be fantastic. But to be honest, whoever wants to come, even if you want, just want to come for the barbecue afterwards, it's, I'm happy for them to come along and support and just, you know, and if you back it. And if you're coming uh, to the barbecue at the end tomorrow, could you please pledge money um, uh, rather than meat? So how can we, <laughs> how can we get involved? Um, uh, there's a number of ways. Um, the, the main main way is uh, through Just Giving page, uh, justgiving.com forward slash Kenneth-Reader1. Uh, and there's also a text the sponsor option, which if you text Kenny, which is K-E-N-Y-62, Seven double oh seven oh, and you have to text your amount as well, and that's the best way to sponsor. All right, so well, people people can give us a call. Uh, the, the Just Giving page is what? Justgiving.com forward slash Kenneth dash reader one. All right, thank you very much, and, and good luck. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me on the radio. Northumberland, County Durham, BBC Newcastle, BBC Newcastle, Radio for the North East.